Thank you for watching this video on choosing images to paint. All these images are free to use for paintings, but I want to be very clear that digital reproductions of any kind other than sharing this video are not allowed without permission. So let's start off by saying that painting is about understanding. How will you successfully paint a scene if you don't know what you even like about it? A pretty picture does not make a pretty painting necessarily and photos can make their own success easily in detail. Painters have to be more careful with composition and color. Strong light, for instance, is a great subject. Hard to capture on the camera, but you know, your paintbrush is much better. Color in the light and shadow areas are always very interesting. L-shaped compositions are effective since they add a lower support and an odd numbered division. Triangular compositions are also effective because of that lower support. Aerial perspective is the shifts of value and color seen with distance. So distant objects have less value contrast and more color contrast. We're talking about usually warm to cool between the shadows and light areas. And also they're usually lighter and more blue. Paths are very effective tools. Sometimes it's a literal path. Other times it's the shapes and groupings that make interesting diagonals and curves. Think of diagonals more than curves since very smooth paths look unnatural. People talk a lot about dividing the canvas into thirds, and it's more an odd number division that makes a painting interesting. So most canvases are too small for seven major divisions, or even five. That's why thirds is so popular. But avoiding doubles is really a better rule. You just want to avoid pairs in any form. It could be four, it could be six. The more number you get, the less it's easy to tell, but for example, uh, two identical trees spaced at thirds is still boring. Now capturing people in the middle of doing something is a sure way to create a connection. People love to watch other people. The circular composition is not as common, but it's a really old one and, and honestly is quite strong. Uh, basically all the edges of the painting are framed and multiple focal points are set up so that your eye wanders around within the painting. It's a bit like the triangular composition, but with more focal points. To wrap it up, you need to understand why a scene should be painted and know your own limitations as a painter. Generally, a scene that looks great because of detail is going to be hard to pull off and paint. Focus on the composition, the colors, and lighting effects in the scene. I hope this video helped you understand how to bring a scene into paint, what to look for, strengths and weaknesses, and above all else, I wish you happy painting.